funnily enough, growing up, I was convinced I was going to be a doctor. Oh. Um, and obviously being a doctor requires certain grades in high school. And you know, unless you're top of the class, it's not happening. Um, but I was fortunate, my father uh, was a research officer at university. He was involved in the very early phases of like robotics and automation. So I was surrounded by technology growing up. We had like random robot wrists in our garage and things like that. Um, so he was actually the one that said, you know, you're very, you're very analytical, you know. Um, you know, what do you think about computing? And I was like, I hadn't even really thought about it. Um, but I actually applied to college and did business information systems, which was a great way for someone who's sort of curious about technology, but doesn't think they're a hardcore coder to really get a feel for it. Um, and I loved it. Ended up being the perfect degree for me. So that's really got, what got me into it. I was looking, I, I was just interested in solving problems. Okay. I was like, what can I, you know, here's a business problem, how do I solve it? Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes it was more, okay, this, I worked originally as a consultant. So sometimes it was like, all right, this consultant uses these platforms that use these technologies. Mm -hmm. And what I very quickly figured out, the technology didn't matter. Under the hood, the technology doesn't really matter that much. It's about a, your approach to how am I solving my problem and then using technology appropriately to solve that problem. And whether you're doing it in Python, .NET, whatever it is you're using, it, it's kind of gravy at that point. You know, it really is. Um, I've never been a hardcore programmer that, I used to love data, I still love data. There's a reason why like, Forensic Files and, you know, um, <laughs> Dateline are my favorite shows, right? It's all about, again, it's problem solving, it's analytical, it's, it's um, you know, following the crumbs to, to, to figure out what's going on and just just really that is what it's that curiosity factor right that's what really drew me to technology like I said that the technology themselves if you have a preference for it you know there are jobs out there um, it, it's just knowing that the same sort of disciplines that you learn apply to any type of technology it really doesn't matter One thing that's helped me is that I can I can speak to the business mm -hmm. and I can understand their asks, but I can also pivot and talk to um, the hardcore techie people and sort of translate that into what they need. Mm -hmm. So that being able to play sort of that middleman and wear both hats is what's really helped me. Um, it, you know, you, you get people who are great um, at just coding and they don't want to talk to anybody. You know, just don't, just, just don't bother me. Don't, you know, the, the, the hardcore introverts, the hardcore coders, they don't want to be bothered, you know? You, and you have to figure out, yeah, okay, this is what they need to do their job. But really, ultimately, everything we're doing is supporting the business. What are we doing to help the business? So you have to be communicating with them. You know, you've got to talk to them at the beginning of the programs to get their requirements. You've got to keep them involved all the way through. So it's really all about that, just that engagement and the communication with the business. And like I said, being able to translate that into the appropriate requirements to the technology team. I would just say, I actually liked consulting as a very first way to, to kind of get my feet wet. Mm -hmm. Because when you're in a consulting company, you're put on engagement and you're working with all sorts of different types of people. You know, you're taught, and there's lots of roles available to you. You can kind of try out. You're like, do I want to be a business analyst? Well, you can kind of try it and see how it feels. Um, and, and then once you're sort of doing that for a bit, you, you get a feel for what which areas you really enjoy. You know, do you, are you really good at writing? You know, you're going to be great at writing requirements, but, or, you know, are you actually better at writing coding? Do you prefer that? Do you, you know, so I think consulting is a good way to get into it. Um, if you're not really interested in going that track and you already know, you know, I want to do this. This is, this is, a, you know, I want to be a, a, you know, a web developer, what have you. There, you don't, these days, you don't even need to go to college, right? You can just take a course, just take a course, get a feel for it. And if you like it, make a career out of it. I mean, honestly, that's, I, I think what we've really seen more recently is that there are many paths to success um, and technology is one where you don't have to follow the traditional path uh, and that's, that's a great thing.